Why did you do it? Because my brain wouldn't remember the formulas and I didn't want to fail. Oh, so you thought it'd be better to cheat than fail? Look around, Frank. You see many black fellas? Yeah, I fit right in. I feel scared every day I'm here and every day is a struggle for me. You were coping. Was I? I just got caught for cheating. Well, you were cheating. I don't need you to be judgmental. There's something wonderful about a fresh start. A new year when you feel certain about everything. Ah, uh, the first day of school. Do you want me to walk you to the gate, honey? Do I seem excited? No, you seem like a girly swat. In fact, now that you mention it, I've been disgusted with your behaviour over summer. What? Oh, with all this reading of course books and auxiliary reading lists in my day, Callie. I'm going to leave now. But I expect you'll just keep on talking anyway. No, no, I won't. I'm going to go to bed. <sighs> but you enjoy your day. You know what, Evan? I will. Don't let the other kids steal your play lunch. And maybe you should take an apple in for Frank. Interesting, because I'm on my way to a great job where I am the boy most likely in a tram full of my wonderful fellow human beings. It's all a matter of attitude. Oh, shut up and whistle. I'll swan in. McClintock will greet me at the door. How are you, sport? He'll say. How about the cricket? I'll say. I didn't watch the cricket. Whatever. Some dying suck. Oh, my stuff. Now, Nikki, you have a great day. Hey, everyone. Have a great day. He's a grown man, a mature adult. Simply discuss the issue and draw to some kind of resolution. Simple. Thank God for that. How are you, sport? How about the cricket? Both, to say the least. We took Joe Williams there. Big account. What's going to happen with that if you land it? It'll go to my most deserving protege. You want a coffee for the meeting? Yeah, I love one thing. You're late. I need a coffee. The tram. Why is there a stain on your blouse? Oh, shit. There was this guy on the tram. Pinkle, can I help you? Yep, putting you through. So, the advice is sell whatever you can get rid of before the results come out because they are not going to be good. <laughs> Lastly, <laughs> I want to introduce a new member of the team. Marcus is just back from working in the London office and will be a valuable addition to the place. He'll be joining Adam, assisting me. Lady 
Gentleman, Marcus Mellison. <laughs> Adam. Adam Marcus. Marcus has just been in London. Yeah, so I... All right, geezer? C. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, you two are going to get along famously. Adam, show Marcus the ropes. Get him settled in. Well, we'll uh, hook up later, yeah? Chat about what you want, where I'm going, how I'm going to make us all a lot of money. <laughs> Main thing to remember, Marcus, it's all about making me look good. Isn't that right, Adam? That's right. Then I'll do that too. Starting with that tie. <laughs> hey, a good lad. I'll just be a second. Callum, I, uh... Why? I didn't know you thought you needed someone else. It's a problem? No, 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 of course not. Just surprised. I, I thought we were doing well. We are. Now we're going to do better. Right. OK, gentlemen, he's ready for you. Ah. You can go straight in. Get rid of that for me, Life of platypus. I've been looking for that everywhere. What are you doing? <clears throat> you know what my dad always says? Always do the hardest thing first. Same dad who said blow refugee boats out of the water? Fallible or anything. Frank. Oh, hi, Kel. Welcome back. Can we talk? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, I just wanted to say how sorry I am. I know I let you down. And myself, but I hurt you as well. And I feel that. You mean so much to me, and you're a wonderful friend, and I want that to continue. This whole year's gonna be different for me, I know, because... Frank? <sighs> Frank, it's just a stupid exam. I know I'll let you down, but I've made these resolutions, and I know that I'm gonna work my, my really... My wife and I broke up over summer. <sighs> I don't... <sighs> Still a bit. <laughs> I've, oh, I've, um, I've, I've got a class to go to. <clears throat> Oh, you can call me Mickey. <laughs> How's your day? Uh, my shirt is a good representation of how my day has been. Yeah, abstract, kind of Kandinsky. Still, you make it work. Speaking of work... Must we? I hear there's a job in your department. Yeah. You interested? I always thought you loved the desk. <laughs> I did, but passion wanes. I need more. Mm. Maybe I could be the one. I'm prepared to beg. <laughs> I'd love to see that. So, um, CV me and we'll interview. Thank you. Pinkle, how can I help you in any way? 